Hi guys, this is Ashika from The Skin Deep. We're here reviewing the design for our card games. There's a deck for every relationship, and if you want to explore your relationship with others, you should check them out online at theskindeep.com slash shop. Thank you. Uh, what is the craziest thing I have done for our love? Um, not changing your whole life plan and not moving to LA when uh, you said you were like two weeks after we met. I think that's a lot is of that the craziest? What else would be crazier? Mold of the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I think giving someone a mold of your teeth is pretty crazy too. <laughs> but LA beats it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? Um, I remember not really feeling nervous. Um, when I walked in, it was, I don't know, it just felt like seeing someone I already knew. Mm, yeah. Definitely felt like I already knew. Um, I was definitely nervous. I feel like you were kind of, it was just like another night for you. <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, plus, I think you've been to that bar already. I hadn't. Oh, you haven't? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Do you really think we will last? <laughs> why or why not? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, obviously, I think we'll last. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I'm not thinking about the, the other outcomes, but um, I feel like you and I have, are like, past the physical already, even though we're like still very affectionate. I feel like that wasn't like the, like the main thing in our relationship from the start. Mm -hmm. um, I think we had like a much deeper connection right away. And that's, I feel like, at least for me, that was like the big shift in my head. It was like, wait, I actually like, you know, wanted to be with you, whether we were, you know, watching a movie, having sex or just laying around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's, um, yeah, I forgot what the question was. Yeah, we'll last. Do you think we'll last? Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty certain of it. Like you said, I don't think that there is like another outcome, but also I feel like maybe that's dumb to say out loud. Yeah, well today is three months, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's so that's, like maybe that's the craziest thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's three months today, and three months is like, that's like the, the yeah. breaking point, you know? Yeah. So after this... See how the next three months go. Yeah. <laughs> or after this interview thing. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. What would make you leave me? Hmm. Maybe if you suddenly decided that your life goals and values were different than they are now. If you decided you just want to, if you decided you don't want to have kids or that you, um... What about cheating? Well, I was thinking about that, but I think, I think that would be really disappointing right now, but I also don't know, and we've talked about this before, like how the whole idea of monogamy and all that, so I feel like if maybe if there was a conversation about it or something, then it wouldn't make me leave you. But I think if you did it right now, or if I found out that you'd done it recently, then yeah, I'd be pretty disappointed. I mean, I would leave you. I think. You would? If you, if you cheated right now, yeah. Like without having any type of, I don't know if I've told you, but I've, I've cheated before. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, you know, it was cheating because there was no conversation. Yeah. So just the fact that you and I can actually, you know, already talk about that and, you know, have like an honest conversation makes me feel a lot better about this, you know. I have too, and ultimately I feel like it stemmed from, yeah, maybe the lack of communication, but also just realizing I wasn't with the right person, and so I don't know, I mean, it's too early to tell, but I don't know, like, it just feels like it wouldn't occur, at least not in the same way that it did, you know? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know I am the one for you? I feel it in my soul. <laughs> you feel it in your soul? I feel it in my soul. Um, I just think, you know, I've kind of been a serial dater. I'm always in a relationship and I just have never felt the way I feel now. I feel just like really calm and at ease and really confident in this relationship and in past relationships that I've had, I've kind of seen the finish line. <laughs> and um, here, you know, it's death. <laughs> um, so. Wow. This is till death. This is till death. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it too. I feel <laughs> it till death. Um, and it's definitely something I've, you know, something I felt right away. I think we both just dove in, you know, and I think that's the way to do it. And there was just no effort. Um, it's felt like. We already know each other. We already knew each other's families. Um, yeah, we'll probably find out down the line we're related. <laughs> um, let's, let's, uh, after this interview, let's go do like 23 and Me. <laughs> Get that over with. Uh, I think it's fine. Okay. Why do you love me? Why do I love you? I think you make me just be in a state of love, like in a constant state of love. You just make me love everything else around me. Just love the city again, you know, love Brooklyn again. You know. Honeymoon phase. Yeah, honeymoon phase. <laughs> but you've just like activated that love in me, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. that's why I love you. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help us make more by supporting us on Patreon, theskindeep.com slash Patreon. The link is also in the description. Thank you very much.